Hello Ginny. Great to see you again. Do you like dragons? You do? Excellent! Because we are sharing a story about a dragon today. And the title of the story is... Oh no, little dragon! Come, let us begin. Oh no, little dragon by Jim Everbeck. Little dragon had a spark in his heart, so he could huff and puff and plush. Plush, poof, plush, plush. Oh, little dragon, Mama said, I truly love your flame. But look how sooty you are. Time for a bath. Oh no, I hate taking baths, little dragon said. You can play with your new wooden board, said Mama. Okay, grumbled little dragon. Grrr, little dragon growled. You are toast. Then he huffed and puff and push and push oh no little dragon fire department to the rescue cannon ball ha <laughs> ha oh no the water dosed little dragon spark he huffed and puffed and puffed and huffed, but not a flicker of flame would come out. Little Dragon thumped his heart and rubbed his tummy to restart the spark. But, oh no, that only gave him a cherry belly. So Little Dragon bundled into every stitch of winter clothing from his closet. But, oh no, that only made him all sweaty. Little Dragon dashed to the kitchen and ate the three hottest chili peppers from the bowl. But... Oh no, that didn't restart the spark in his heart. It only made his eyes water. And they wouldn't stop. Plink, plunk, plop. Why are you crying, little dragon? Mama asked. Because, little dragon said, if I don't have my flame, you won't love me anymore. Oh no, little dragon, Mama said. I could never stop loving you. Because you are the spark in my heart. Then she kissed him on his freshly scrubbed snout. Little dragon felt warm inside. Warm inside? Could it be? Oh, yes! Little dragon huff and puff and... Plush, plush, plush! Oh, no! Sooty again! The end. I hope you enjoyed today's story. Don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to our videos. See you the next time.